Okay, so um, I'm just going to go through the observer exercise with uh, anxiety. Uh, this is a great thing to do if you feel like you're sort of rushing around and taking, you know, being buffeted by the world. And then um, being buffeted by the world and then feeling like you're accumulating sort of trapped, trapped anxiety and you want to release it. So the thing to do then, well, let's let's get into it. So uh, the first thing to do is to just uh, get yourself almost like a calibration. Calibration is like figure out, like I'm holding this case here, or you might see a, a mug on your table or a flower in the room. If you notice it, notice that uh, when you see a flower pot, for example, you are not, um, when you're observing the flower pot, it's obvious that the flower pot, which is an object, a flower pot is a shape, it's in the distance, and there's detached observing of it. So there's clear recognition that what you are is not a flower pot. Okay, so the next thing then is thoughts. You know, that's one of the biggest addictions to, um, uh, that we have is the addiction to being in the thoughts. So if thoughts are passing by, uh, consciously and unconsciously, whatever you're aware of, these thoughts which are passing by are actually like passing clouds. You know, like if, if you see a cloud pass across the sky, do you get confused that you're the cloud? No, you don't, because it's clear that the, observe, the cloud is a, like a detached, meaningless object in the sky passing by. So it's clear that it's an object passing by, it's not what you are. What about thoughts? They pass by, you know, you have a thought like it's a nice day or you have a thought like it's a difficult day or uh, whatever thoughts pass by in the stream of consciousness. So they're passing by, but what's, uh, what's observing or witnessing the passing thoughts? So if the thoughts are like clouds passing by and something is observing them, then be the observer of the thoughts. As you do this, you'll notice there'll be a detachment. You'll notice, oh, they start to disappear. It's like because there was so much investment, interest, and absorption in them, seem like they, you know, they seem to have center of attention. But as you, as you go into the detached observer, which has no interest in passing thoughts, you go deeper inwards into the witnesser. Then you know it's like they, it's clear they're not you, and then they start disappearing starved of oxygen, not hooking into them, not identifying with them, you know, that they're so meaningless that there's no energy going there, they just start to dissipate. And in that way, the, you know, the thoughts start to be a thing which, you know, um, you're free of. Okay, the next thing, uh, of course, the Miracles does talk about this, you're not a body. You are not a body, you are free, for you as God created me. You're also not trapped anxiety because you're free, because you are as God created you. You're also not the, um, any sort of ailments, asthma, breathlessness. You're not those because um, you are as God created you, which is not those things. So the body, the body is an object. If there's awareness of the body, like if there's awareness of the bum on your seat, if there's awareness of how tall the body is, that's an object, just like a flower pot. So be that which is observing the object, be the witnesser of the body. And as you become the detached witnesser of the body, even uh, as you go deeper inwards into the witnesser or into a stillness or a oneness prior to identification, then you'll notice that uh, the body starts to fade. Now, if there's now trapped anxiety or asthma or breathlessness or stress, these are what I call subtle, subtle sensations or subtle, uh, subtle, uh, subtle objects, shall we say. They're being registered as an object. It could be like a fluffy anxiety cloud. Uh, it could be like a feeling of tightness in the chest, whatever it is, but that's an object. Even if it's a fluctuating foggy object, it's still an object which is observed to be here and will be, can, will be observed when it passes away. So the observer, be the observer of um, now, as you go into the observer, it should become aware of subtle energies as you let go of the body, as you let go of the thoughts, identifying and going to the observer of those, they start to dissipate. 
Then uh, if there's any trapped energies, any, you know, shoulder pains, knee, knee aches, be the observer of that, be the detached observer, who's not hooking into any, any sort of sensations in the body, and they'll start to dissipate. Then you'll get into more subtle things. As you dissipate, you know, the gross things that seem to be drawing attention as you first start the observer exercise. Um, see, is there some subtle sensations of anxiety or repressed feelings or sensations which are deeper, which you don't normally are normally aware of? As you become aware of them, notice that, okay, just see if you can be the, the witnesser. Because just because you now that you're aware of it, it's an object. Obviously, there's something that's registering it. So what's observing this mesh of uh, sort of suppressed or repressed feelings or anxiousness? So what's observing it? <clears throat> if, you do, <clears throat> if, there's, if, it, if you're having trouble being an observer of it because it's so subtle or so slight, you can just let it be there uh, and it'll start to evaporate away. It's almost like it's meaningless uh, because it was out of awareness, maybe because of uh, there's too much uh, thinking going on or too much uh, activity, you're not aware of it. But now, as you just stay in the observer or just let it be, it will just dissipate away. And just let everything dissipate away. And if anything is still left, if you're still limited, if there's repressed energies, if there's trapped energies, if there's uh, trapped anxiety, then be as you become aware of it, be the observer or just let it, uh, let it be there. Don't make a story. Don't label it. Uh, if thoughts arise to make a story about something, just uh, disidentify from the thoughts and either observe any energies and they'll dissipate and go or go to the, if the observer seems to have a relationship with any trapped anxiety, then you have what's called an observer, which is interested in, in anxiety then be the observer of that observer and see if that observer, that deeper observer, the detached observing, if there's any anxiety there. So in that way, you will release things. So let's just, uh, just have a few moments of silence and, uh, and then come back into the room. <clears throat> 